Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all? I can see you're all chatting, Go talking amongst your friends. Why not? What a lovely day. The sun is shining. Welcome to the How To Craft Network studio, a marvellous place to come and get all of your lovely inspiration. Sometimes some bargains, sometimes new launches, but always a smiley face. If you are brand new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're just about to hit another amazing milestone on our channel, which we will be celebrating soon also. There's also a little bell on there, which will give you all notifications if you click the bell. And if you do have the time to pop a comment underneath this video when we have gone off air, let us know your feelings on the show. What would you like me to do? We have anything goes on Wednesday. So if you want me to do anything on Wednesday, a technique, use a product, show a demo of, pop it underneath this video and I'll have a look through them and see what we can do next Wednesday as well. So I hope you're all well. Are we all good? Thumbs up. I will come and say hello to you all in just a second. We'll get to the other side. But it is Friday, which means only one thing. We have some savings for you today. Nothing new. We have some back in stock items and some savings. Now, you can all see we have a whole bunch of Imala. Now, we have not lots of these. These are literally what are left. As you all know, Carly goes to TV, sells pretty much everything out. And I'm left with a few numbers of each. Uh, which are available to you guys for a reduced price, which is amazing. So maybe you've got your eye on one stamp and it's on the counter today, then you're going to get an amazing price. I will fly down the counter and guess what? Our Maya alcohol markers are back in stock. So all of you that clicked that notify me button, you will have had the email and I'll show you those at the end. And we're going to use them in my demo. We're going to use mine, which I've only used once, which is criminal. I know but I'll try and use them in studio as well. It's the same throughout the whole show. Everything is half price. So you will get these all at £8 today. £8 if you are in the club. If you are a club member, you get them at £7.60. So I'm not going to talk about club. $9.49 if you are in the USA also. But don't forget, if you have accrued those points, you will get those extra discounts, probably getting you all to about £5, which is crazy. So if you have your eyes on one of these stamps, then you need to check out your basket. Like I say, we don't have a lot. Don't sit with them in your basket, guys, because I think we have like 30s and 40s. That's it, not hundreds, 30s and 40s. So let's start with the first item on the counter, Fairy Silhouette. And it's got some lovely sentiments in there. Now this season with the demo I'm going to do today, we're going to do like the blazing with the demo I'm going to do today. We're going to do like the blackout technique, which I absolutely love. We haven't done it for a while. So we're going to revisit that technique. So if you haven't heard of the blackout technique before, you need to stay tuned because it's a cool technique that if you don't even have the items on the counter, you will be able to utilize them with the products that you have in your stash. It's a big one. OK, so you get the lovely sentiments in there. Massive, beautiful. Ask yourself if what you are doing today is getting you closer to where you need to be tomorrow or want to be tomorrow and forever, friend. It's an amazing, amazing sort of uh, mystical, magical, could be borderline mixed media if you're into that, but equally stamped on a black and white card would look incredible. 100275. So if you are shopping for the first time on the How To Craft Network, which is our website, all you need to do is pop that code into the website. It'll bring you the item straight away. You can pop it straight in your basket. But equally, if you don't want to mess around with codes, you will see me on the website live right now. The products are just below this live video. So you can quickly add to your basket and be done and enjoy the rest of the show. 100275 for that item. Now, the next item on the counter, it's an eclectic mix, okay? So you're going to get a variation of sort, sort of different designs. So this one is Bon Voyage, and this one is the lovely, lovely suitcases, okay? So this is one where you get all different, like you get like a satchel, a bag, a, a briefcase. It's a really, really cool one, this one, and you can build it in, and it's easy to cut out. So if you want to create perspective and put it in front of something, you can absolutely do that. Now, this one's Bon Voyage. Same price for them all. I'm not going to talk about price all the way down because it gets boring. You get the picture, £8, okay? So this one is Bon Voyage. So you get four separate stamps in this one, which is really, really lovely. Moving down the next one, we have Rose Bouquet. Now, this is the one where you get that large cluster of sort of roses and then you get a lovely, lovely sentiment on there. So this one is 100282. And I'll switch this one around. And it's a nice large bouquet. So you can get in with your um, pens and pencils and watercolors and you don't have to be the artist. The lines are there for you to encourage you to pick up that brush and just have fun. 
with it on there. So moving down the counter, we have the next one, which is a beautiful sort of dress design. I love this one. This might be my demo. Might be. Okay, so this one is 100522, and this is the perfect outfit. So you've got that silhouette, you've got the flowers in the gown, you've got the butterfly in the base of it as well. And you've got some super huge sentiments in there as well. Let me just read these ones out. So we have get up, dress up and never give up. Life isn't perfect, but your outfit can be. How, how cool is that sentiment? Life isn't perfect, but your outfit can be. Yeah, life is not perfect, but your outfit absolutely can be. So moving down the counter, I'll turn that one around so you can all see. There we go. And then moving down, who likes a kitten? Who's got a kitten? Who's got a cat? Who's got a dog? This one is huge, fluffy kitten. 100553. My gosh, it's going to fill a full card. You're not going to be hunting around for this one, guys. So you could do like the cats leaving home with, with the suitcases in front. Could you imagine I'm leaving home? Why? Because you, you didn't feed me, so I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big kitten. All you need to do is colour the eyes in blue and add a bit of ginger to it. It looks awesome. One zero zero five five three. So the next one on the counter is the lovely lady with the arms in the air, the butterfly wings and the florals as well. This one was a absolute um, showstopper when Carly launched it. She did it in vellum, she raised the wings, she coloured the left, she did half the design on a page and half on the other. Really, really lovely design. 100554 for this one and this one is called spread your wings nothing great ever came that easy there we go check that out is that not just gorgeous if you didn't like the lady with the arms in the air then you can obviously cut her away no great shake easy done is this beautiful sort of animal design animal leopard print design if you love animals you're gonna love this one so it's got a floral detail over its sort of eyes there so you just have to color that in color leave the face white if you're not confident in coloring with color 100555 for this one let's turn this one over so this one's called fierce and you can see there be brave be fierce whoops a daisy and then a lovely design on there absolutely gorgeous so hopefully today at eight pounds there's something within your budget if you have been waiting for some Imala designs to come into a savings show on this Friday, then you've come to the right show. But equally, if you've got them, stay tuned. Equally, if you don't need any more stamps in your life, stay tuned because we've got some lovely demos. So you might be able to incorporate them in with your other Imala stamps by me or other brands. You can use the techniques with anything. So the last thing I want to talk about is the lovely um, alcohol markers from Maya. Now, these are back in stock. You have been waiting for them. Thank you for your patience. We did have to wait a while to get them through customs due to the alcohol in them, which has been a bit heavy. But anyway, they're finally here and they are gorgeous pens. Now, you all know I collect pens and pencils and I have my own, but I still have to have them all. I'm just like you guys. And they have um, a lovely black ergonomic sort of barrel on them. They have a chisel and a bullet. They have the best nib. So that's your chisel there. They are really, really lovely. Lovely to feel. And the lovely um, nib on the side there. You can see that they're really, really lovely. So alcohol markers, as you all know, there are some really, really good ones and there are some really, really poor ones. Some of them fluff it on the nibs, these don't. Um, and some have really, really expensive nibs in as well to get you the best out of your colouring. Now, these are that affordable that um, if you are just starting out, they're a great starting point as well for 60 alcohol markers. Now, these are underneath the show. So if you are on our website, these are underneath the show. OK, don't worry about it. We've got lots of them. They're finally here. So um, shop at your leisure. You have your lovely handle and a carry case. So you'll be able to take them with you if you are crafting on the go. So there's the whole show. All seven stamps, one set of alcohol markers. Let's get to the other side and say hello to my lovely friends because I like to chat to friends. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. How is everyone? Love the fierce one. Do you, Donna? The, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Think about your fabrics and things like that. Caroline on the Imala design team does an incredible job of popping them onto canvas bags and onto embroidery hoops and stitching them and things like that. So try and think out of the box rather than just what you might do with them as a stamp and just colour all the time. What other things could we do? You could do uh, an embossed resist on them as well. So there's lots and lots of stuff going on. So if you do see a share button, if you would 
be able to share the show that would be appreciated we always have lots of viewers now on our facebook page we don't exactly know why that started to happen but we do appreciate your company so if you are on facebook we are doing a big shout out to you also if you do want to chat and have any questions the best place to come is to our youtube channel that's where we interact with you the best uh, but we do try and flick between all of our social media platforms so we can have a chat with you all and again there's lots of you on so let's do a little shout out so Donna, Amanda, Roxy Lee, Helen Brand, hello everyone. I'm going to be quiet as I'm feeling not well and trying to eat some lunch, but I didn't want to say hello and, lip and hope you are all having a great day. Well, we hope you're feeling better soon, sweetheart. We really are. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Amanda. Oh, Amanda, no, not more pens, Amanda. Sue, um, hope you're feeling better. Joe Driver, uh, Irene Smythe, Michaela Brown, Joe Patton, Mary Murphy. Oh, yes, forgot to mention I have loved and shared all the social media platforms. That's really kind. So shall we get into a demo? Shall, shall I have a play with some colour today? So what's everybody got planned for today then? I need some fingerless gloves, Adele. <laughs> so what's everyone got planned today? So shall we have... What I'm doing today is uh, my son is at gymnastic summer school. So we'll pick him up later today. We're going to go have a nice walk with the dog. And then I think we're going to have a pizza. Now, I got a lovely gift through the post yesterday. I'm going to post on social media. I'm not going to talk about it here. But I got an awesome gift yesterday. I'll post it on social media. It came with no name. It came with no message or anything. I'll post it on social media. The person who sent it knows who they are. But I'll post it on social media. It's so cool. You'll have to check it out. I'll post it on my personal page. So stay tuned for that one as well. Hi, Charlotte Dean. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Barbara. Lots of you on. Right, so let's get straight into some demo because that's what it's all about. Having fun, having the chat. I'm going to use a perfect outfit. I did say it's, it's up there, isn't it? Do you know why? Dresses and florals. I've done lots of them myself, but combined like this wow factor so I'm going to use this one today so what I am going to do is I have let's just move this out I have my eyes ink sprays as well because I don't use them enough do you know as well I end up with all the light you know like if we get a, um, a delivery and maybe one's leaked or somebody says it's clogged can I return it or something like that I end up with them all in my little box so I don't actually ever unless there's one I really really like I'm like I've definitely got to have that one then I take it but otherwise, I end up with a little box of little goodies, maybe where it's been leaked and one of the girls has cleaned it off of me. So when I look through the box, I'm like, oh, when's this what? Licorice. I've got licorice. It has, it's, it's leaked half the bottle. But I have licorice, so I'm going to use it. So I have licorice. I have lavender, wild rose, and aurora, which is the yellowy orange. I have popped some colours underneath the show if you want to check those out as well, if you like them, because they are really, really lush. So, but you might have sprays. So what I'm going to do is I have just a piece of board here. So it's a bit thicker than cardstock. It's the Imala board. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat emboss this image onto here. Now, I did say we were doing the blackout technique. It's a super cool technique. Be prepared to get a little bit messy, though. So you need a clear embossing powder, a sticky ink pad, I didn't put the lid on that very well. So, anti-static bag. And I'm just going to pop that on here. So, this is just going to stop any anti-static everywhere. Oh, Donna says she might start a ribbon wreath for, uh, for a friend for a birthday. That sounds wonderful, Donna. Oh, Joe's meant to see Paloma face, but she's too poorly. Oh, oh, sweetheart, it's not great, is it, when you're under the weather? So let's use this super huge stamp. I've only used it once before, so it is really an opportunity for me to use it again. So what I'm going to do, let's move the magnet up into the corner here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and capture all of that detail in that gown at the base. I'll pick up that stamp and clear for this one, uh, clear sticky ink pad. 
and because this technique works wonderfully for solidy stamps so anything that's got a lot of black in them like like on here so you can see a lot of black in them that works beautifully so the kitten would look awesome the fairy would look awesome and the wings lady because that's got a lot of dark spaces so definitely silhouette sort of um stamps particularly ones that have got some silhouette areas and some that haven't okay right so let's get this stamped out Push, push, push. So a couple of updates while we're just stamping this out. So over the week, oh, look at that. You can see how gorgeous that's going to be. So over the weekend on Sunday night at 7 o'clock, I'm doing a Studio 3 Sunday night, 7 o'clock, with a demo. And guess what? I'm going to be showing you the latest launch from Sarah Gray, Funky Fossil. She's bringing an exclusive launch to us next week on the How to Craft Network. So I asked, I said, do you mind if I show it on the Sunday night? Seven o'clock, come and, come and have a look. It's different. It's different. She's like, no, go for it. And you never know, she might come and say hello. So seven o'clock Sunday night, I have a Studio 3. It's pretty awesome. Making sure I get all of that on there. Don't want to miss any. Oh, I've done a mistake. I've done it wrong. I've done it wrong. I've done it wrong. Right, let's just heat set this. I really needed my colour underneath for the blackout technique. Why did none of you tell me? <laughs> I was thinking about the giveaway. Oh, gosh. Let's just put some... <laughs> In fact, we'll do, a diff we'll do both techniques now I'm here. Honestly, well, Cali can use my sheet with all of the codes on there. So let's pop some white on here. Now we're doing two demos. What twit? Honestly. Right, so you can see now I've got that. This is white. It's white on white, but trust me, when I heat set it and I do, <laughs> do a different technique on this one, let's just set that aside. Right, let's get back to where I was originally starting with the correct demo, the blackout technique, okay? I don't know. Anybody know what day it is? <laughs> My son this morning. He did book me on the summer camp. Yes, son. It's Friday. Are you sure? Like, as if, like, I get things wrong often. He's, my son's actually double-checking that mum's actually got him booked on. Like, yes, son, you're on it. I promise you're on it. He's like, right, okay. But he's, I he still said to his dad, Dad, I am booked on summer camp. Like, and then I go and do that with demo, honestly. So let's just push my Eureka to the back. Because first, when I say we're doing the blackout tape, we need to get some colour on this card first before we do that heat and box. So I have a box here, look. box plain box okay S simple and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pop this mount board white card hopefully you'll be able to see it in my box <laughs> look at you all now it's a, michaela says i was wondering michaela why don't you tell me honestly twitter or what anyway so let's get some color on this card so i'm just going to pop some pink on oh look at that yummy yummy pink some purple. I just love ink. As long as I don't have to touch it, I love it. <laughs> oh, oops, Tony Enid says, yay. Hi, Tony, I'm working today, but we have just had an SBM delivery, so we'll be playing with the beautiful birthday, wash it and dies later. Is there any news on when Henrietta and Edith will be back in back in for sale they land this week as soon as they land you'll know about it i promise they're definitely on their way get that lovely yellow under there as well so i'm just basically covering all of the card but i don't want like a mucky color so i hand that's what's happened a little bit so what i'm going to do is whilst it's in my box we'll dry this off and then i'm going to add that purple 
a bit of purple back on top. I will show you all what it looks like, but I'm just going to bring that purple back because it's gone a little bit of a browny colour. So try and dry between your layers so you don't get the mess. I too have fibrolegima and chronic pain syndrome, Barbara. There are new two days, no two days the same. Oh, sweetheart. Well, hopefully come into the studio. It takes your mind off it a little bit, darling. A little bit of a distraction, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'm just going to go back in with the pink and just bring the colour back to life and the purple as well. I ended up with a bit of a mucky mess then. I didn't quite like it. So a bit of purple up back at the top, a bit of purple at the bottom. I think I'm going to leave that. So let's just dry that. Silly Billy Carol, I know. Giddy Kipper Tony. One of my friends sent on social media as well. She would, she'd been to visit like a local pub and she'd ordered a drink, a can of like lager. And on the can of lager, it, it was called Giddy Kipper. She says, I saw this and thought it was appropriate to send it to you. It did say Giddy Kipper on it as well. I'm like, that's amazing. So let's see what this looks like. Stop, Amanda. Oh, look at that. That's lovely, that colour, isn't it? Very vibrant. Look at that. I'm pleased with that. Very nice. So let's just move the box. Stop with the size of the box right now, guys. You've been very naughty. Uh, which way do I like the best? So now it's... Let's go this way. Oh, no. Let's go this way. Right, so this is where we need to do our Eureka. Let's pretend we're starting all over again. Forget about that one. Forget about that one. We will he set that one. But let's pretend, you know, this was the start of the demo. So pop it in your Eureka look. I'll hold it in place with my magnet because it's got a hump in it. Let me just straighten it out a little bit. Give it a bit of a massage. The box is back. The dreaded box is back. Oh gosh, what we're going to do. So let's just see if I can get this in place without touching the stamp. Oh, oh my neck, not a bad effort at all that. So let's just maybe move it down just a touch. I think we're good. So it's still a bit damp. So I'm going to anti-static and hopefully it won't stick everywhere. So let's try it sort of releases the moisture a little bit in the cardstock. So hopefully yeah, I can feel it. It's nice now. All over. And let's use our sticky ink pad. <laughs> Honestly. I think I need I think I need to get to gymnastics summer camp and Tom needs to come and do the show. <laughs> but last night we were doing um, for our prep for the show on the 9th, which if I haven't told you, I think I have, but I'm on on the 9th. Yeah, I have told you. I'm on on the 9th for a new and exclusive. And me and Tom was doing our prep. Um, and Tom was like, Mum, you could get a dog, a dog stamp, and you could proper like, and we could do a 3D stem on that flat. Just coming out that sack, proper getting into it. And I'm sat there looking at him like, like, what are you looking at, mummy? I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just listening to you, sweetheart. Proper, like, getting into it, like, you know, oh, maybe you could do a fence. I mean, we're talking about embossing folders here. Maybe you could do a, friend, a fence that goes across and then stops and then a dog and a big flower with a 3D, you know what I mean, mummy? A 3D stem. Like, yeah, do. I do, I get it, I get it. Leave it with me, son. <laughs> like... I say, Tom, what do you think of this? And then he's, he goes off on one. Totally off. Totally off. Anything I've asked him. So like, you've got, oh, I've got a great idea, mummy. <laughs> he cracks me up, honestly. Growing up so fast as well. So, oh, we've got that lovely image. I am going to do it one more time, though. So what will happen here is the solid part of the stamp will capture the colour underneath. And then when we pop a clear embossing powder on top, 
the colour underneath will come through and then the blackout is where we black everything else out and you just get the beautiful design hopefully come through. That's the plan if I don't mess it up again. <laughs> I'm thinking outside the box Adele stop right now. Get all that detail best I can in the hope that you know I think we'll go with that see what happens. So let's get a clear embossing powder and let's throw this on. So this dress is, apps, is limited stock now. This dress that I'm using now is limited stock. I thought you all would have had this dress. So let's just pop this on here. So this is the clear. Hopefully, oh, is it clear? It says clear. Do watch it, it'll be white and just totally ruin my demo again. <laughs> so you can see the card's a little bit damp. Can you see where it's stuck to the areas where it's a little bit damp? So I'm just going to have to get my brush on that one. Just pop this away. Let me just grab a brush. Just one second. Just grab a small brush. And all I'm going to do, the brush is dry. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that powder. Tidy it up a little bit. Because although I did use my anti-static back, the card was still quite damp. So just brush it all away. And then just at the top around here. And then just in here, tidy it up a little bit. So I'm happy with that now, a little bit tidier than it was. You see that there? Get rid of that up there. Any more? Spend a bit of time to keeping it nice. It does, I have actually got clear on here. I think it's clear anyway. So you probably won't see the little specks anyway, but just for my own well-being. <laughs> I do like to tidy it up a little bit. So let's heat set this one. Julie, we did sell the large jars, um, but they're out of stock at the moment. We are waiting on a delivery because we have our new wow powders and things like that coming. So just click, if you see any you like, click that notify me. It's the best thing we ever did is that notify me button. It works and you all love it. And I honestly think, like that's why we've been nominated for the best website online website this year because of all those key features that we've built into our website which enables you to have a better viewing experience it allows you never to miss a product when it is back in stock and you are waiting for it and the community behind it as well and it's not even finished working on something absolutely amazing where you're all going to be able to connect as friends through your accounts and show each other your makes it's going to be amazing if you haven't voted go and vote <laughs> so let get your gun pot Oh, it's white. Oh, it's white. Don't do it to me. Well, I never. Gonna have to go with it now, Anna. It does look amazing, but it's not what I wanted. They're all just trying to make me feel better now. My demo's just been crushed twice. I'm not saying anything now. I've got Monk on. I've got Monk on. I've got Monk on. Who says that? I've got monk on. I thought it was white. It didn't look clear. <laughs> I give up. I give up. Oh, anyway, pretend it's clear. I'm only joking. I'm going to do it again. I need you to see the technique. So let me just grab a piece of that board again. Just one second. Oh my gosh. Promise you this was not planned. Oh, Michaela says it's the most friendliest website ever. It's cool, isn't it? Um, 
You're such a genuine person. Oh my gosh, right. Listen, don't turn off. Don't turn off. I promise you it's going to come good. Right, last chance. Let me just make sure I have got a clear embossing before I start saying I'm going to... Just one second, is that all right? Have a look at my beautiful white embossed image, everyone. That was supposed to be clear. Let me just have a look on my trolley. Silver. Black. Courtyard green. Silver lining. Just bear with me, everybody. Just one second. I've got every colour possible underneath here. It can't, I can't possibly not. I've got another one here. Is that clear? This looks clear. Let me just see if it's clear. <laughs> All right. You can put camera back on me now. I've, I've lost the sad face. I'm happy again. Right. Let me just make sure it is clear. You're all having a laugh at Giddy Kipper. I'm on speed today. I'm not on speed today. Oh. I've only had, what have I had today? I've had a Kit Kat. Let me just make sure this is clear before I do the same boo boo. This is like craft time in my house. Are you kidding? Yeah, but this is live. I can't be, can't be doing this. This is clear. Right. Start again. I bet you're all thinking, where's this technique going? Will you just get on with it? You just get... Right. Where's the box? Card in. Colour in. Get ready. Yellow. I'm going to dry between the layers now so I don't get that muddy mess. Everything happens for a reason, doesn't it, hey? It should be a new thing. Oh, why? Adele says she's never heard anybody say they've had monk on since she was a kid. I say it all the time. I've got monk on. I don't even know what it means. So that's yellow. Hooray! Is that hooray? You're doing it again. <laughs> Pink, honestly. Pink. Three demo Friday. <laughs> Three boo boo Fridays. I'll need to go for that walk, won't I? Let's add a bit of purple on there now. Anybody got any clear embossing powder they can bother Tony? Could you imagine? Just a bit of purple on this one. <laughs> See it through. Don't too. This is going on a card, all of them. I've still got that white one to heat set yet. This is my... Honestly, this is what it's like all the time when I craft anyway. And then you throw Tom in as well at the same time because he always has to help me. Um, you know, incorrect lids on ink pads is a belter for us in our family. Wrong colour lids on ink pads and you put it on and you think you're using orange and you've got green. So there's that. So that's nice, isn't it? Starting again. There we go. Sorry, I just want to show you colour. There's hardly no on that one. It's all right, though, so move that aside. Let's heat set this one, shall we, that we made the first mistake on. You can actually pick which is the best now, can't you? So this is the white on white. I should have known when I put it on here, really, that it won't clear, because clear's a little bit of a cream undertone, isn't it? white you are so funny don't it really it's not intentional that's a new one i've got three cards on the go here ladies and gents 
three cards. How are you following? I have no idea. I don't know what's happening myself. We'll just go with it, shall we? So this one with the white embossing powder on, I'm going to pop it in. Let's add some colour. Because we've got embossing powder on there, guess what? The white embossing powder, it will act to resist as a resist. Things happen for a reason, don't they? So let's get this on. You should, you should start to see the dress come through as I spray. Let's just dry that a little bit. You learn from your mistakes, you absolutely do. Carol Clark, I'll read that out because that's quite good. So Carol says it was it, it, it's easy enough to be pleasant when life goes along with a song, but the girl worthwhile is the one who smiles when everything goes wrong. My teacher put that in my autograph book when I left school. Absolutely. That is a great sentiment, quote, statement. It's, that's amazing. Absolutely, Carol. From purple to maybe just at the top. In fact, what I'm going to do here, shall we just pull this out? As we're crafting on the go here, because we've done a couple of things, haven't we? So... The white embossing powder will act as a bit of a resist, remember that. So you can take some tissue now and you can sort of like burnish the white embossing. Can we see here? And it'll sort of like bring it back. Does that make sense? Let's just heat set it first. Now I'll see if I can lift. Let me just spray some water. Oh, I haven't got any other. There we go. But just, it's all right. I did it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just spray your tissue with some water. Look here. And then just run it over the white emboss and it just brings back the white. Can we see there? Super, super easy. It looks gorgeous. Can you see how it's coming back? Or a baby wipe, whatever you use in your stash. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, cool, doesn't it? These things happen for a reason, guys. So, yeah, that's what everybody says, I guess. What do I think of that? That wasn't my demo, but, you know, I'm happy with that. Oh, wow. Let's come back to that one. So that's that one. What else did I do? Oh, so that's that one, which again, you can bring back the white on this one as well, exactly the same. Wet your tissue, and again, just wipe, and it'll bring back the white, it'll get rid of the colour on top, look, you can bring it all back. You see? Super easy, so, two failed mistakes. Let's see if we can get the third one right, hey? So that's the one that was sprayed. Let's use clear. I promise you this won't meant to be the longest demo in the world. Make sure it's in the right place. That's all right. So again, use your anti-static bag because it's still a bit damp. So attempt number three, let's do it. Beautiful. I know it's not a bad, not a bad result, that one at all. If you, as soon as you start mounting them onto black top folding note cards or canvases and things like that, that's when they truly come to life. Think about your washi tape tabs with the words as well. Just put them through the dress with a, like a statement of some form. You're literally good to go, aren't you? But the other good thing as well is, and I'll show you in a second, but as I'm going to play with all three now, I've done three. Yeah, so clear ink pad. Can't get it wrong this time, can I? Oh no. <laughs> I've mixed them up. I'm not sure which is white and which is clear. <laughs> I think it's this one. Oh. Don't 
will have to stop for this. It's another thing as well. When I always say to Tom, Tom, please don't make me laugh. I'm going to pee in my pants. And he does it on purpose. Like, I, I'd love to see you pee in pants. Where I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? It's like, it's funny, mummy. It's funny. I'm like, oh. hey, we never want them to grow up, do we? So, clear embossing ink pad. Stamp onto your image. I am going to stamp it twice. Can't afford for this one to go wrong. <laughs> oh, I think the dress is now gone. In all the time I've been faffing, the dress is blooming so now. <laughs> you can't buy it now. Oh, God. Honestly. Thank goodness we don't have to be too serious. Make sure it's the right one. Pick up the right one, Tony. Oh, we're going to have, do you know what's going to happen, don't you? We're going to have another box scenario, but with clear embossing. Pick up the right one. Right, let's see. I've clearly mixed them up, haven't I? Because they all look clear. Clearly they're not. Right, let's go for it. Is anybody else's heart racing? Get it on, life's too short, isn't it? Get it on. If it's wrong again, I'm telling you now, we're not doing it a fourth time. <laughs> this looks a bit, looks different, so I think I've picked up the right one, ladies and gents. I think we're safe. Looks different, doesn't it? I think we've done it. I think we've done it. And coffee's gone cold, we all make mistakes. Oh, look at you guys laughing at me. I need a drink. This is the best hour of the week. Fun hot. Can't stop laughing, oh goodness, you already get the same box as Tony. Right, I'm just gonna do it off camera. <laughs> My joke. Let's see. It's clear. It's clear everyone, we're alright. Honestly. Don't talk too soon. So now we've got our lovely see it on there but what we want yeah you can see the wave in there what we want to do though the technique is the blackout technique so what we're going to do is the exterior of the image we're going to push black in black it says now normally when i've done this technique i've gone with a black ink pad around the edge haven't i if you remember i've gone like got my black ink pad just say a distress ink or black and with my blending tool i've gone all the way around and done it as like and then this has acted as a resist but i felt like do you think if we sprayed it with the black licorice icing to stop the strain in my hand and my wrist getting that blend all the way around that if we put this on top this is where <laughs> this is where it all goes wrong i'm going to do it anyway we've got to see what happens if it if it works it works but if not at least you know you can go around with your black ink <laughs> oh crikey 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 right in the box it goes now you're all laughing again, aren't you thinking, oh, here she goes again. Right. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. What are you doing, Tom? What are you drinking, Tom? It's only coffee. Coffee. Cold coffee, because I've spent that much time 
faffing. Right. So I'm going to go spray in the box and hopefully that embossing will act as a resist and capture the colour underneath and we'll end up with a beautiful coloured gown. Hold your breath, everyone. <laughs> Rihanna says she can't look. <laughs> right, here we go. I'm just going to leave it to settle a sec because I don't want to pick that up because it's a bit of a mess. Mm. <laughs> just going to push it along a little bit. Just do that we're gonna <laughs> just thinking she's been drinking and I've been with her all day. Oh now this is where the magic happens, guys. So if you've got a bad wrist, the box, if you've got a bad wrist and you cannot do the blending brush motion or get cramped like me, spray with your black ink because look what happens when you take a tissue. We got there in the end. <laughs> Can you believe it? We actually got there in the end. Now, we need to add some, some pizzazz to this now. So let me grab my white confetti ink. Let's get some splats on here. What do we think? Did you all lose faith in me just for a second? Hey, eh? Keep the faith. See it through. Well, that just shows it works with your spray, your black spray. If you haven't got black spray in your stash, you need one. Mix it up. Wow. Yeah. See, uh, I'm not bad when I have a go, you know. <laughs> so... Quick tip for you here, guys. If you go close and tap quite fast, you get the small splats. But if you go higher, because it has longer to fall, you get bigger ones. So if you're thinking, why am I not getting a mix? Heighten your tool. Can you see? Because my, my um, brush is quite high. I'm getting the bigger splats on the back. But if I go really close, I get the tiny ones. But the bigger, just slow your tap down and you get the bigger. And don't worry if it goes on your image, because as we know, it acts as a sort of resist, enabling us to wipe it away anyway. There we go. See that there? So don't put your brush in your coffee, though. That's what's about to just happen there. Pop them there for now. Let's just dry this off. Could do some gold splats on here as well. If you've got any white on your image, you can just wipe it off. Look. Make sure you dry it off properly. But there we go. Look at that. Let me just show you as well. Let me just see if I have a black card to hand, see if it'll fit. But when you start putting them onto black, black and white pieces of card, look what happens. It's when this is when your artwork really comes to life. Let's grab a white one as well. But you can see when you start to pop them onto card blanks, like white onto black or black onto black. And then all I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my washi tape sentiments, which these are what I think what everybody's waiting for on the raw washi tape sentiments with the, um, oh, check, you get all sorts of words, you get lots. 
and try, I do work through them. So, and we have we have the brown ones. We have. I, I wish I, I'm not going to stick it. I will try and put something together for all three cards. But like you have all sorts of keep smiling. Fabulous. Like so. But another thing as well, just whilst we've just got it to hand. And you won't melt your embossing powder, don't worry about that. Once it's on, and really it's on, unless you hold it in place and try and shove it around. Um, if you get a brush here, I'm not sure if this will actually work, but if you pop some water onto your matlock and you pop water into the area, say this, say for instance, the base of this flower here, it might work, it might not. But if you wet it quite heavily, you could pull back some of the colour and get maybe a bleaching technique. I'm not sure if it'll work, but we'll give it a go. See if it'll lift out. And then when you dry... There we go. Can you see how much lighter that is? I'm lifting a bit of the colour out. Equally, if you want to step it up a step as well, Take your confetti. I'm just showing you a few ways to maybe get the most out of your design here. Take your confetti ink, add some white in. So it gives you the appearance of the bleach. Obviously, it doesn't matter if you go over your emboss, it wipes off. We see now. So if you wanted to do the whole of, is that, that's the flower. Make it quite Christmassy, quite magical. It'll drive pretty much back to nothing anyway, so. You know, but what happens, as we all know, when we add white to our colour, it resets the page, doesn't it? So we're working with a piece of white now. So what does that mean? That means we can go in and paint the flower with our watercolours because we've got a white base. So let's get it white. Like so. We'll just dry that off. Definitely watch back, yeah. It takes a while to get to this stage. But then when you dry the white back up, wait till it's dried back. And then at this stage, you can absolutely now go on with your pencils, your other watercolours in your stash. So say, excuse me, so say for instance now you bring in your paint, your pink, you can now go on top of this white with the pink and paint the flower in. I mean that's got to be quite awesome in itself, hasn't it? Because I've put that white base in there, we can now pop in a pink flower. Don't worry about it going on your embossing, we can wipe that off like so. And then if you want to go in and add a little bit more, make it a little bit more dimensional in the centre. And then we'll dry it off and then pull back our sort of um, coloured embossed lines. I'm going to have something that looks quite cool. There we go. Ah. Now you have a coloured flower captured in that dress. Imagine doing them all in different colours in your butterfly as well. You'd have that people would wonder how you've got that white.
So there we go, I'm going to leave it there. Lots of different ideas for you there. Did you like the technique in the end? Let me just tidy my station. I'm just going to lay them all on my counter here. So you can see the different ones and I'll put them onto some cards when we do our photograph. But you can see... The three attempts we got there in the end. But again, you could totally, totally jazz these up to how you want to look. They look quite cool, don't they? Totally um, clear, capturing that colour, sprayed with black, white on the back, white again. That could have happened a third time, but we did it. So have a go with what you've got in your stash. If you have bought the dress, you'll be able to hopefully do this technique on your first go rather than your nine million. Um, but equally, the, all the stamps in the show are eight pounds today. Club members, seven pounds. Let's just have a look. What did I put them on at? Seven pounds. Was it 60? Seven pounds 60. And if you have those savings, you're going to get those extra discounts. So if you do like any of them, you're going to get those incredible savings. So I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope I've kept your company and I hope you're going to give it a go. Post your makes over in our Eureka fan page. Now, I have waited till the very last minute of the show to tell you something. So if you are sticking around, you're in for a little bit of a Brucey bonus. I didn't tell you whilst I was live. This is probably why I made so many mistakes because I needed to make sure I told you. The cruise is live. OK, you need to go to our website and click the banner that's swiddling around at the top and have a look. Let me know your thoughts. If you've booked, let me know on our social media pages. Can't wait. I am so excited. All the information is there. If you have any questions, read disabilities, wheelchairs, partners, food, allergies, any questions at all, unfortunately, you can't do it through me. I have no involvement in that. There are several numbers on there, USA, UK numbers. Give them a call. Have a chat with them if you're wanting to um, get more information about the cruise. But I would say if you're interested, give it a serious think now because there isn't many spaces. Okay, whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon stroke evening and I will catch you all later. The cruise information will be in our newsletter first thing in the morning. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye.